Hey guys, I'm Ollie. This is Mabs. And this is my 1985 Toyota Hiace uh, named Jennifer Vaniston. So this is the uh, outdoor kitchen. Um, we've got my lovely counter space. Water, gas cooker, assorted other items. Um, I've got a little light out here for cooking at night. And my drawers. Um, not the tidiest of spaces, but I know where everything is, so that's what matters, right? Managed to get these from for free off the side of a road. Someone's practiced pottery that they didn't want any money for, so that was a good little score. And then, uh, and this one, I've got toolbox, which is pretty essential with a 30-year-old van. Um, a few spare parts. Um, coffee, most important part here, and WD-40, probably second most important part here. So when we're on the road, Marvs will be either uh, chilling out here, watching the world go by out this window, or she jumps up front with me and just plots herself down next to me and listens to the music. I haven't had Marvs for too long. Got her about two years ago from the RSPCA. She adjusted really well to the van, to be honest, because I picked her up straight away chucked her in the back and the drive home was two hours. So she kind of, you know, fight or flight, I guess. She was like, all right, I guess this is my life now. So she's not the most uh, active cat. Pretty much when I stop, she doesn't wear, whoa, okay. Proved me wrong there. <laughs> With a cat, it's very relaxed. They're pretty low maintenance. Obviously, can't go to national parks. Got to be a little bit careful about where you go. And during the peak of summer, I don't travel with her because it's just too hot. Like, it's not really fair. Okay, so welcome to the inside uh, where the magic happens. Um, obviously, got the skater for getting around in. Um, everything else very finely crafted by me, a non carpenter, so don't look too close. Uh, we've got the fridge. Obviously, Bailey's to start the morning off right. Um, the usual things in here. Uh, I've got the sink up here. Um, it can either be hand pumped or electric for when you're feeling lazy. Now, I'd, we'll probably say I'm glamping here. I've got the PlayStation and the screen, which is always pretty good when you're really in the middle of nowhere and just want to relax. Um, everything else, I've got the the old drawer that's got everything in it for stuff that doesn't belong anywhere else. I've got clothes, clothes, clothes. Oh, camera gear on that one too. Marble's second favorite spot in the van is through here. It's her litter box. Probably her favorite thing to do is do a really stinky poop at 2 a.m. in the morning, which wakes me up. We've got the pop top, obviously, which is great. Um, mesh windows, keeps looking good, a little bit of breeze going on. Got my surfboards. Got the old uh, full mattress. I've never done any carpentry sort of stuff, which is uh, obvious if you look a bit closer, but it's still all together right now. Um, most electrical stuff I'd done would be kind of like putting together car stereos and stuff and when I was a teenager trying to get the subwoofer to sound a bit louder and stuff. Um, so I, I knew how to do some sort of basic soldering and stuff like that. Um, so that definitely came in handy with the electrical stuff. It hasn't caught fire yet. Yeah, so for electricity, I've got a 220 watt solar panel on the top. Uh, that comes down here through to the solar panel controller. It's a Victron Connect, I believe, which means I get a cool little Bluetooth app. I can see how much power I'm getting and what the battery's got. Um, that then charges up my battery, which I kind of went a bit overkill on. It's a 220 amp hour one, which is 75 kgs and not really fun to replace. Um, from there, power gets fed back into my inverter, which lets me 
power the PlayStation and all the fun stuff. And then I've got, uh, it comes back through for a little 12 volt panel and this, this one just lets me control everything by switches, my water, the fridge if I need to turn that off when I've parked it up for a while, cabin lights inside. Um, yeah, and then I've got a little fuse box back here just because safety first kids. So I work a job that's a rostered job, so I work eight days on and then six days off. Um, for me, that's perfect because I, I love my days off and I'll put all my effort into that eight days of work and then my days off, I really want to do something. Um, so with the van, it's perfect. Like I don't really have to plan anything. I don't have to book accommodation. I can kind of just decide what's going on. Yeah, so obviously um, when you go around a corner, the drawers kind of want to do their own thing. Um, when I first built it, I chucked uh, child locks on it, which worked for a bit, but with Australian heat, uh, adhesives kind of lose their stickiness and those would all fall off. Um, so what I ended up doing is making these little leather straps that have a push button fastener. And just, there you go, not going anywhere. Um, it got one up on the fridge here as well too. So just, it's, I've, uh, it's a fun one to forget to put on because you go around a corner and then you hear the fridge open and cans rolling around. I don't have any air conditioning and there are some 40 degree days when it is absolutely horrible. Um, so I've got a hot tip for how to stay cool in one of those days. A, you need these 12 volt fans just blowing on you in all directions. Um, and then in the fridge, I cycle through uh, the old hairspray bottle, spray that all over you, <laughs> evaporative effect, it works. Like you, you genuinely do like cool down quite significantly. So for the sink, I've got a 40 litre water tank under here. Um, I've never really checked that tank out. So to be honest, I don't drink out of it, but it comes in handy for doing the dishes and everything else. Um, and then for drinking water, I fill up this bad boy out here. Jennifer Vanniston is 32 years old, just ticked over half a million kilometers. So I'd say considering all that, she's doing really well. Um, I have had to replace a few things, so I've had to replace the carburetor, I've had to replace the distributor. Um, but like, knock on wood, nothing, nothing fatal. Yeah, it's all just stuff that, hey, eventually that was gonna have to happen. You don't see that many 32 year old, half a million kilometer vehicles still on the road now. Yeah, she does all right. Probably a favorite part about having it popped off is just how quickly I can pack up and set off again. Um, if we're ready to go, just pull this bad boy down. I chuck a couple of bungee cords on here. And we're good to go. Um, just another addition to the van has been this security screen. Uh, main reason I chucked that on is just so I can have this window open at night time. Um, no one's gonna come in, no mosquitoes are gonna get in there and if I need to leave the van for a little bit while Marbs is in there, she still gets plenty of airflow. I guess like, without getting too deep, like, for me, like lo loneliness is quite different from being sad too. So like, I will feel lonely sometimes. I'm obviously, if I've got marbles with me, it's a little bit different. Don't, don't quite feel as lonely. Just feel like a crazy cat person. And to be honest, it's kind of like cheesy as it sounds, like Instagram kind of helps me feel a bit less lonely because I might, it kind of helps you connect with a lot of other people that are doing the same thing as you. And they might not be parked up at the same car park as you, but you might find out like, all right, they're actually only an hour north and I'm going that way. And someone will respond to your story and you're like, oh, hey, like, let's catch up with someone, let's grab a beer. And I've actually made a couple of like really good friends just through doing that. Like we already know we've got a lot in common. Like you kind of skip a lot of those steps of how you might normally make friends or something. Um, so yeah, it's been nice for me like that.